Well, we're through Cinco de Mayo, let's move on to Cinco de Moonshine. Hello and welcome to Intoxicated Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you today. Uh, we are going to, in May, I, I, I kind of had this idea that we would do cocktails that are sort of uh, similar to the margarita. Uh, and there's nothing more similar to the margarita than the moonshine margarita because it has margarita right in it. I don't have a lot of history of the cocktail. I found it in uh, Southern Spirits, uh, which is by Robert F. Moss. Um, the cocktail is, it's, it's a pretty simple cocktail. It's basically a margarita, but you use unaged whiskey instead of using tequila. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of a spin on that, but other than that, there's really not much else to say about this. I'm just kind of curious to see if putting unaged whiskey into a margarita makes something that's palatable or not, or if putting something else into a margarita instead of, uh, instead of tequila makes a difference. But since we don't have a lot of history to talk about, let's start making and drinking. Okay, we're back, we have some ingredients. Uh, so we're gonna start off with our common ingredients because this is a margarita-ish. Um, uh, my uh, uh, ratio is just a, a one, one, two. So we are gonna toss in one ounce of Cointreau into both glasses. Sorry, both shakers. And we're going to toss in one ounce of our first squeeze lime juice into both glasses. Sorry, shakers. Okay, so for our base beer, we're gonna start off uh, doing exactly what the recipe calls for. Uh, in this, I'm using uh, white uh, Buffalo Trace Mash uh, One White Dog, uh, since Buffalo Trace, according to the hype, makes the best whiskey that has ever been made by human hands in the history of civilization. We can discuss whether I believe that hype or not. But I wanted to go with something that's a very well-known name, so I'm not just using, you know, some random distillate from some random distillery that nobody's heard of. Uh, so for our second one, this is an odd duck. So this is Naked Biscuit Sorghum Spirits uh, from Nashville Craft Distillery. Uh, this is one of the distilleries I stopped at when I did the, the Tennessee Whiskey Trail, uh, the video of which has been in the pipeline for about the past two years and is coming out any day now. Um, so this is a sorghum spirit. Uh, I think this technically could be a whiskey. I think sorghum is a grain. Uh, sorghum is a grain. So this could actually be referred to as a whiskey. Um, it is uh, not a common grain to use. It's not the first time I've heard of sorghum being used uh, for distilling, um, but I've never tried it before. So this is a, a fresh crack um, and we are going to put this, I'm gonna clean out my, my jigger here. And we're gonna to toss in two ounces of what is essentially sorghum whiskey. And this is, as far as I know, when I talk to them at the distillery, also an unaged spirit. Actually, let's try this. I'm curious, before we get into the, into the cocktail. I know I'm a little inconsistent with tasting spirits, but this one has me, uh... That's a really interesting nose. It... it smells kind of like a... It smells like a musty bakery. Um, that's a... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if that, that strikes you as a good nosing note or a bad nosing note, but that's what I get. Man, um, it doesn't taste like tequila, but it does taste tequila adjacent. Um, it's not bad. It's really not bad at all. Um, it's, it's breadier than tequila. So tequila has a, has a really nice sort of clean, crisp, uh, kind of a, a nose and taste. This is, it's, it's pretty crisp, but there is, there is just a, a, a breadiness to it. I, I, know, I don't know if that's helpful to people, but it's, uh, yeah, very bready. Interesting, again, not bad, not, not unpleasant at all. Um, just very, 
it's one of those things where it feels like you can you can taste everything that you've tasted before, but you kind of take a right turn on on one of the little paths, and it's like just a little bit off and kind of different. Not not in a bad way, but just in a different kind of way. But anyway, enough tasting. Let's start shaking. Okay, we're back, and we are going to get these into some shakers and some ice in there. Give them a good pound and give them a good shake. Sometimes when you open your tins, you can pinch your finger very badly. We are going to double strain these into chilled coupe glasses, or what I have. That is going to be our white whiskey. And then, we've got our naked biscuit. And we are just gonna go ahead and garnish both of these. They actually call for a lime wedge. I'm just gonna do a lime twist. That's what I would do for most of these. Toss that in. And for our sort of spirit, same thing. All right. And there we have our two moonshine margaritas, or our moonshine margarita and our naked biscuit margarita, which is a strange thing to say. So something interesting is going on with the white whiskey version. Um, the problem with bourbon is that on its own, without any assistance, corn does not give you a ton of flavor. Whereas agave does. Agave has, well, at least more than corn does anyway. So this is not a bad drink by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it is not as good as a margarita. Um, and it is not because it has any bad flavors, it is because the the bourbon, which is essentially a corn, I mean, it's not a corn whiskey exactly, but it is a corn-based whiskey, um, is not bringing a ton of flavor to the table because this is unaged. You know, there's no, there's no oak or anything. You're just getting mostly corn. And in this case, you're getting a little bit of rye as well. Let's try our naked biscuit. Better, uh, definitely better. Um, God, I can't place exactly why. Um, I guess it must be the breadiness and that kind of, that sort of, uh, uh, I don't know, the, the, the bakery sort of feel there is bringing a little bit more flavor and it makes for kind of a little bit more of a full-bodied cocktail. Yeah, the, the white whiskey version is it's perfectly fine. It's it's, it's very inoffensive, um, but it just isn't bringing it isn't bringing a ton to the table flavor wise. I mean, you're getting your Cointreau and you're getting your lime juice, which you should be getting because there's an ounce of each one of those in there. Um, but it just feels like it's a little a little baseless in some ways. Like it's not. It's not kind of being held up. You're just, you're getting those flavors. You're getting obviously like a little bit of alcohol, but it's not, it's not doing a lot. Yeah, it's just more full body. Um, I have a very hard time placing the specific difference between these two drinks, um, but I can tell this one just, it lasts longer. Um, it's just, it's more full bodied. It brings more to the table. Um, yeah, I can say for uh, our Nashville Craft Distillery, um, I haven't been there in quite some time. But yeah, I give them credit for this. That's that's a really interesting thing. It's um, Now, I guess the ultimate question here is, would I have a regular margarita over this? Um, and that kind of depends on what tequila you're using. Um, if I was someplace where they had really nice tequilas, then I definitely would take a margarita, with a a margarita over this. Um, 
if I'm at some place where they just have like, you know, Jose Cuervo, I'll take this over Jose Cuervo in a heartbeat. Um, that's really interesting. It's a really interesting spirit, actually. Um, it does feel like, and I think I, I got this in the tasting of it, like it's almost halfway between being a tequila and a whiskey. Um, like it sort of has little aspects of both. It does have that nice crispness. Um, and it just, it kind of works. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike this. I, well, I mean, I don't dislike this one either. This is not a bad cocktail. You won't hate this. Um, but it just does feel like you can do better, <laughs> essentially. Um, so I would go ahead and have the Naked Biscuit, which is not a phrase that I expected to say on this channel, but Naked Biscuit Ho. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good drink, and have a good day. Sometimes we record more than one video per evening, and sometimes that has an effect. Thank you.